Hello YouTubers, I'm just making a video today, and it's gonna be about two things. Um, there was a commercial when I was watching ECW yesterday, and it was a review. Um, they had a commercial about how Mike Tyson is gonna be the guest host on Raw this upcoming Monday. So I thought I would talk about that. But this is mostly for the young, um, younger fans. All the fans probably know about his affiliation. The second thing I'll be talking about is Edge, Edge's um, ment um, physical ability now. If he's gonna compete in the World Rumble. Okay, I'll start us off by saying that I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that Mike Tyson became the host for Monday Night Raw because. It's been a long time since he's been on WWE television. Twelve years almost, to be exact. See, for all the kids that don't know anything about Mike Tyson's affiliation with WWE, here's how to make it put in short and sweet. It started off with Mike Tyson. He was he made a like a lucrative deal with the WWE so he could be involved with the storyline. The storyline took place in which it was after Stone Cold won the Royal Rumble, but the thing was that Mike Tyson was watching the Royal Rumble from the General's box with Shane McMahon. So the next night on Raw, Mike Tyson tries to congratulate Stone Cold, but Stone Cold, knowing how naive he is, what he does is he comes out of nowhere and says some to words him, saying, "You're a master of your ring, and you just can't come in my ring and take control." And then he put the F.U. sign in disrespect. And then Mike Tyson pushes, pushes him, and they have a brawl. And then Shawn Michaels, <coughs> trying to be the advocator he is, gets involved, has an alliance with Mike Tyson. And what he does in the end with Mike Tyson is he tries to advocate to everybody how he should be the guest referee, and he comes up with a concept of a match of WrestleMania 14, which should be oh, Mike Tyson versus Stone Cold, with Shawn Michaels being the special guest referee, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. He really took, I know, he really took Stone Cold to really be stupid, but when the Royal Rumble, he had to take that title shot, because he wanted that belt badly, so then what happens is, they have the match WrestleMania 14 for the WWE title. Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels going at it. And um, Mike Tyson is the special guest enforcer. So what happens is Shawn Michaels, um, Stone Cold does a stunner on HBK. And then Mike Tyson does the 1-2-3 and shots, um, Stone Cold wins in a sense. He kind of showed his true colors in it. So, that's how they had Mike Tyson with it. But I don't know what the WWE is thinking. They have Bret Hart, now they have Mike Tyson. Maybe they're trying to make something out of it. No one is over me. It's going to be something unusual, I can pretty much say. The second thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the Ed's injury update. They said that. Doctor said, and you go on pwtorch.com, that's the link I went, I may put it in the description of the story, and what had happened was, they say that Edge is questionable, which means it's highly likely that maybe he'll compete in the Royal Rumble, but if he does compete, they could make a storyline out of him winning, I mean, they did the same thing with John Cena after he was injured, out for a few months, and then he injured, he, um, fixed himself back, and then he won the Royal Rumble, because the Edge is at that quality where he can do that at will. So, they say he highly likely is going to compete in the Royal Rumble, which to me sounds like very good news. Also, I found another story online, um, I want to talk about the ratings, because... A lot of people talk about them, but I want to talk about them in reality. So I guess this is the third thing that's a part of it. I found out 
that Raw got a 3.37 rating, which means on average, they averaged around 5.5, 5.6 million viewers for the whole night on Raw. While TNA Impact did pretty good, they got a 1.5, some sources say 1.6. Some sources go as low as saying 1.4, but 1.5 is the most direct um, source that is the uh, most direct rating that I got, which is pretty good. But when Hogan was speaking with that segment with Sean Waltman, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash, it was a it was as high as a 1.7. So the thing I realized about TNA is is that it's not getting enough respect in things. So. It was not getting enough respect and stuff. But I think, in my opinion, writers, writers, ratings don't mean anything because Dixie Carter even said herself, she doesn't care about the ratings, she cares about the quality. And in my sense, team, they definitely had the better food than WWE. WWE took it like a joke, like a farce. And another thing, I guess, another thing I can add to the video, I wasn't planning for this, I didn't have any notes, so. The next thing and the last thing I want to talk about is Booker T. He may be coming back to WWE, and there are sources that say that he may be he may um compete in the Royal Rumble, which is really a surprise because I didn't really think of him competing in the Royal Rumble or even being. New. Well, I had a feeling he said he was gonna go to WWE, and he says with everybody, he's told everybody that he's signed with WWE. I don't know that for sure, but. I wonder where they're going to put Booker T, like, I don't know if they're just going to put him straight to Raw or SmackDown and give him a good thing. They're probably going to try to start him slow with ECW, but the thing I realize about Booker T is he's been out of action now for four to three to four months, so he should be good and ready to come back when he has to, so this has really just been my video. Okay, bye.